What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, yeah, um, we got the new Flash content, we got some market talk, and we got two new locker codes, or maybe even three. So we're gonna go over them, man. Um, I just wanted to point out these are the oh, hoo -hoo, yo, please don't be Sean Marion. Who's red? Is that Dame Dog? Yes, sir. Who's Rockets? I, I don't know why I don't know this. Well, who's the Opal on the Rockets? Did I forget? Hakeem! Yo, we just got a Hakeem pull! Oh my god, guys, that is an insane way to start off this video! I was literally just showing you guys how bad these pack odds are, and we pull Hakeem Elijah one. So, okay, I will take that. We're gonna show you the locker codes. That is a huge W in the chat. Um, we probably pulled about 600k worth. We only got Sean Marion. But then we poke Lich Hakeem, who's actually only going for 178k. So I'm still down about 100, about 300k. But uh, yeah, um, I will take that any day of the week. We're probably gonna play with him on stream or something probably tomorrow. But yeah, let's get into these locker codes. Then we're gonna get into some market. But oh my god, that is an insane pull right there. Let's go over to the locker codes on Twitter real quick. Um, but yeah, man, something crazy, crazy is going on. We're going to hop into NBA 2K20 My Team real quick. Um, where is the search button? Um, but yeah, that is insanity, guys. I am like in so much shock right now. That was, the, oh my God, that is such a sick pull. So here we go. Here's some locker codes for all you guys. Um, this is locker code number one. Oh wait, nope. Where's Bob July? This one did just drop, and then we have one more, and then we're gonna get us some market talk. So there's the code flash dash packs dash drop dash July. Alrighty, guys. So here is the other code. We are having some difficulties over here. So that's one George Mercy players dash club dash Mercy dash A H W X R. I think there is one more. Not totally sure though. And then yeah, the flash dash products drop dash drop July. We also have this one. I can't even speak right now. Um, but yeah, these are the other three codes. So three codes, three new codes, and I don't know what is going on with this lag, but yeah. Um, let's just let's just say two new codes, and then you know what? Let's just get into the market talk. So let's get into it, man. Um, these packs are really bad. I would not recommend popping these packs whatsoever. Stay away from them. We're gonna get into some market talk. We're gonna pop one more pack. So right now, man, we're gonna look at the market. We're gonna tell you guys if it's crashed. Most likely it is crashed um, because they did drop like five opals in packs. Five opals that people like. They also did drop pink diamond James Wiseman, who's also very, very good. So <sighs> let's get into the market. Let's see what's going on. Let's see uh, some sets we're going to go over, some pricing and whatnot. So um, people keep asking me, yo, Bugs, should I invest in cards, dude? You're not investing in cards. There's no point of investing any card unless it's high tier cards. And I'm going to give you one method for high tier cards. First off, you need a lot of MT to make MT. And um, second off, I'm going to just show you one couple things in this video. Wow, Dame Lillard's only like 80 something K, which is crazy because he was the most hyped of a card in the set. And honestly, they kind of did botch the stats. So if you won, you would get Dame Lillard for cheap, man. He's not expensive whatsoever. He's not even really that good of a card. Kind of overhyped for no reason, in my opinion. Same with Sean Mary. Some cards that have value right now. We got the glitch to Keem, um, the glitch Lamar, and the Wilt, obviously. Let's check out Wilt's price. I'm going to give you a breakdown of Wilt Chamberlain, man. Is he worth the MC right now? Not really, guys. Kareem's still better. You also get a whole set for Kareem. Um, I heard his jump shot isn't the best, so I kind of would stay away from this. But, um, yeah, forget that. Let's go over some market talk. What you guys should be doing right now is probably trying to snipe out Pink Diamond James Wiseman, man. This card, I pulled him four times in my 500k MT pack opening. In my opinion, guys, one of the best centers in the game for, what, 20K? Not even 20K? 
He did go up a lot. I sold a couple of mine for 20k. He oh wait, he's not showing up on the auction. I forgot. So how you want to get to him is flash eight pink diamond center. I don't know why this game is so trash, but here it is, man. James Wiseman. There is no other way to look him up unless he's a free agent. Wait, Bill Lambeer is a free agent too. This game is so broken, man. So if I were you, James Wiseman is a key snipe. I'll buy out Bill Lambeer and go enabled center. James Wiseman should pop up a ton. And yeah, Bill Lambeer is one of the cheapest pink diamonds in the game right now. High key, one of the best centers in the game. Not one of the best centers in the game. A very good budget center in the game. Very, very good budget center in the game. Um, oh, there we go. That's a snipe. Oh, we missed it. So right there, I would have made about 20,000 MT right off that one little snipe. So if I had the enable filter on, I would have made a lot of MT. So now a lot of you people, how do you make a lot of MT bugs? Well, here's some strategies that I've been doing, okay? Since I made a lot of MT off a couple cards in this game, and I'm going to show you it. Right now, man, Giannis Antetokounmpo Galaxy Oval, going for around a million MT, right? What I did to make a lot of MT off this card, I picked him up for around a mil to 1.1. I put him up for 12 hours at 12 Eastern at night. The next day I got on, he sold for 1.550 on Xbox. And why did he sell for so much? Because I put him up for 12 hours. I don't know why. When you put up high tier cards for 12 hours, for some reason they sell for a lot more. I don't know why. But it's happened with him. It's happened with my LaMelo Ball. It's happened with a ton of higher tier cars I have gotten. But that is for some reason, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know. But to make MT, man, for high tier cards, I would definitely recommend for high tier cards, do that. You're going to make a lot of MT. Now, another method is definitely the cheapest Galaxy Oval Snipe Filter. Since there is new, five new Galaxy Ovals in packs, you're probably going to make a lot of MT off this cheap, cheap, cheap Galaxy Oval Snipe Filter. In my opinion, there's a whoa 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 that larry hughes isn't even on the auction like i can't even click on him this game is broken man so here's another method if you guys have if you're one of those mt method guys you grind the auction and stuff and you have like a squad that's worth two mil mt right sell your whole entire squad buy every single galaxy opal on the market and just do it able think about how many snipes you could get there's going to be millions of snipe snipes like period so if there's going to be millions of snipe for the price of 2 MT, might as well do it. You'll make a million MT off one. Like, if you buy every buyable Galaxy Opal, you're going to snipe out Galaxy Opals almost every refresh. I don't know if this is a snipe, but I'm going to buy it. Um, as you can see, man, the Galaxy Opal snipe filter looking pretty, pretty solid. Hopefully, I make some MT off this AI. But Galaxy Opal snipe filter, man, if you want to make MT, you got to follow the cheapest snipe filter or you got to follow some type of enabled snipe filter. Whether it's central, whether it's this, whether it's that. In my opinion, to make the most MT is enabled snipe filters in general. Um, there also is pink diamond methods in which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, pink diamond method, pretty solid, man. There is a lot of pink diamond methods I could show you. In this video, it's really just sniping out pink diamonds in general. It's really just the, the pink diamond snipe filter, which has been good for a very, very long time. And now since there is a ton of pink diamonds in packs... You can make a lot of MT. We just got that Gilbert Arenas. He's not really a snipe, but I feel like he could go up a little bit. Uh, wait a second. Is that fully Evo Gilbert Arenas? Oh, no. Oh, it's fully Evo J. Williams. But Pink Don Snipe Filter should be popping off. John Wall for 4K. Al Harrington. You kind of want to stay from those cards. But other than that, man, Pink Don Filter should be going crazy, to be completely honest with you. 110%. You're going to make a lot of MT. You just got to know who to pick up. I would stay away from Gilbert Arenas, J. Williams, and a couple other cards. But, yo. These are the filters, man. Galaxy Opal Cheapest Filter, Pink Diamond Filter, honestly, yo, Glitch Filter as well. Galaxy Opal Glitched, maybe buy out a couple of those cards. Let's see. Let's go. Let's look at the Glitch Filter, see what's rocking. Um, so you want to buy out, I think Jokic is a buyout, and Dirk, so, and Hidu. Hidu's a buyout now too, which is kind of crazy. So if I were you, pick up Dirk, pick up Hidu, two very usable cards, um, enable them out, and then you have a ton of possibilities. You have Glitch Lamar, you have Hakeem, um, who else is on the Glitch Filter? You got Shaq, you got, I think that's really it, and Tracy McGrady, who actually is up in price a ton. You got Ben Wallace, so you got about six snipes on this filter. Some of them are very expensive, so that's another snipe filter I recommend. Another snipe filter <clears throat> to make MT, and yo guys, in this video, make sure, bro, I'm not answering any comments that say, who should I invest in? There is no more investments in this game. That's all I'm going to say. It is endgame. 
You're not going to get any investments. I'm just letting you guys know this right now. Zero investments is possible to invest. Another snipe filter. Galaxy Opal buyout thunder. Sean Kemp, Gary Payton, buy them. And then just do buyout enabled. You get KD, Prime KD, and Rashad Lewis all in the same filter. If you snipe out any of the KDs, one gives you 200k profit. The other one gives you about 700k profit. And then if you get Rashad Lewis, you make 2 mil MT. So in my opinion, very good snipe filter. Another very good snipe filter, man, is Galaxy Opal Next. There's a lot of snipe filters going on, man. I'm not going to lie. There is a ton. Uh, but right now, man, Wiseman and LaMelo Ball going for a ton. Edwards is going for a ton. So, oh, Edwards is actually a buyout now. So what you want to do is buy out Oneka. You want to buy out Cole Anthony. You want to buy out Edwards and Hanton. Then you just try to hope for Wiseman and LaMelo pop up. And really, that's really it for the snipe filters, guys. There's a lot going on on the market right now. You could pretty much snipe anything. And honestly, I think if you sit on the cheapest Galaxy Opal snipe filter, you should be able to get a ton of snipes, honestly. I'm almost guaranteeing you guys to make about 100,000 MT per hour on the snipe filter. I would recommend picking up Diamond Larry Hughes, Sarunas, and uh, Diamond Te Jason Terry to do enable. Because if you do that enable filter, you're going to see a lot more. That's a snipe. We missed it. Oh, so annoying. So... Just lost out on about 20k. There's a lot of sniping to go around, man. Especially Galaxy Opal Cheapest. There's Lillard. There's, there's a lot of cards going up right now. So definitely recommend that. That's really all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. That Hakeem snipe was... That Hakeem pull was pretty, pretty clutch. Not gonna lie. I'm honestly very, very hyped about that. But yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.